Greetings and welcome back to Hydraneer. All right, we're over at the Goliath digging site here. And as you can see, I have been shopping and we are going to be building. I've also done some repiping, as you can see. Um, I pushed everything back so that I could do a few things. So let's talk about the few things that I'm going to be doing because I do have a plan. All right, so we still have our valve here for the Goliath, and it goes this way. Whoa, where is it going now? Oh, it's going all the way over to here. As if maybe there was going to be more Goliaths on this side. And as a matter of fact, you can see there's a split right here for the conveyor, which takes the output from the, the Goliaths, that goes here. Almost like there's going to be some more munchies and some... Uh, conveyors over here because that's exactly what I'm planning. We're going to have production over here. We're going to have production over here and it's going to be dumping it right in the middle. And I already do have two harvesters. We're not installing two today. I want to get half of this going today, feeding into a harvester and then probably dumping into a pail. If it turns into a mess, I did make another purchase, by the way. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking things up. And I also got a bunch of corks, as you can see. I've been uh, making use of them. This is the first one to go, by the way. Yeah, first one to go, because we're going to put the Goliaths in first. A uh, funny thing about corks, I'm not entirely sure of this, but I'm pretty sure that they bug these things. Um, I, I came back with a ton of pipes, and then it got to the point where I couldn't take anything out anymore. Everything was just stuck. I couldn't think of what to do, so I just kind of left the game, went back in, and then everything that was in there was gone. And I'm like, I don't know what the problem is. I went back to the table, and half of the corks that I had purchased were still sitting there. And I'm like, okay. I took it again. I had another problem, and then I just did it without corks, and I had no problems. So I'm not... I'm thinking there might be some kind of a problem with these things and corks. So if you're going to transport corks, use this or some kind of a big vehicle. Okay, I have a lot of purchasing, so let's start building. Like I said, the first thing I want to do is I want to put in the Goliaths. So let's throw them in, uh, because there's going to be a lot of grinding going on after there, uh, because I want to make sure that everything is going into the uh, harvester is going to be tiny little chunks. By the way, there are some seams around here. I hope they're not going to cause me any problems. All right, let's see. Uh, boom. By the way, one thing I was not aware of, these things actually do dig deep holes. Uh, as you can, you can't really see too well right now. Um, you can kind of see the holes there. I actually fell into one of them and I couldn't get out. So I had to use the unstuck. It sent me back over to the sign over there. So it didn't send me too far. But uh, yeah, beware of the holes these things dig. They're deep. Okay, so I have these guys right now. So we need um, T's. No, that's a straight. Where do I have the T's? Okay, here are the T's. I do have a lot of pipes. All right, and rotate, boom, like that. Let's grab another one, throw that in there like that. All right, we're just going to try to get this going, and then we'll worry about pressure tanks later and where they should be. Like, for instance, I can put one here, and after the water comes all the way over here, I could put one there, too, to boost. Now... This should be 100% going into here, actually into here, 99 going into there. So I'm taking this all the way over here. This is what's going to be powering the harvester. The conveyor is moving away from the harvester. I should say harvesters. The conveyor going away from the harvesters and also the sorters. So this is definitely going to get uh, pressure tanked way on the end there. I might have to stick one in the middle just because I want the water pressure to be good. All right, let's see. Uh, I got those all done. I think we can just put that back in there right now. Because the thing is, the ends of the Goliaths are going to be dead ends. Because that order is only for the Goliaths. Okay, and like I said, we're probably going to put some over here. This water line, that's for everything else. All right, so let's see about adding these. And I'm going to add a lot of them, by the way. All right, let's see. Rotate. Because I want to make sure that everything that's going up the ramp to the harvesters is going to be tiny little chunks, very tiny little chunks. So I don't mind buying a bunch of these things. All right, 
Yeah, we'll just go crazy with that. All right, so it seems as if the uh, uneven terrain isn't really a problem. I'm happy about that. All right, so this is just going to drop down here, and then they're just going to grind. There's no purpose in making these guys grinders, especially this one, because it's just going to move at an angle anyway, right? Oh, that reminds me. I need to turn these on. That way we have the one switch, the valve. All right. Oh, and by the way, I did turn that on just before you can see it moving over there. Is there any sparks going on? No, I do know that one of them is probably going to have a problem really soon. I should be this one, 29, 80, 37. Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to be um, proactive, and we're going to do that. Because that would be the next point of failure, so we're just going to let it go. Uh, I let it go before, and I got some big ingots. You know, I got a big ingot of iron, and I got a big ingot of gold. So we're just going to let that go and maybe get something much bigger. Because after all, even though I have money, I think I have about 63, 64,000 left. I want more money! Because we saw in the last episode, those power items cost a lot. So we need to make a lot of money. Okay, from here... We're going up because we're going to do the same thing we're doing over there because it worked really good is we're going up into the, um, doom, doom. oh, hold on a second. Boom. Grab one of these. We're going up into the, uh, up high and then dropping it into the harvester. All right. All right. And you go in there. And I need a cork for this because this is a dead end. All right, and you can just root. There you go. Boom, there we go. All right, and then this is where things get a little tricky, but I think I have this worked out. All right, so rotate, 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 like that. There we go. All right, so I am going to have a conveyor here. The way this is going to work is this pipe is going to make a turn and then go this way, and we're going to have a T for each of the harvesters. Then it's going to wrap around here and it's going to power the conveyor and then it's going to make a turn and this is where we're going to have our sorting situation over here. But we don't have that right now. That's going to require a lot of purchasing. We can probably set that up in the uh, next episode assuming everything works out the way I want it to. All right, for the moment I'm going to take that out because I think I could just put that back in when we're done. All right, so let's take that out, put it over there. All right, and let's put these guys in here so the water gets piped all the way down. All right, we'll, we'll see how this works without the um, pressure tanks for now. Uh, that's kind of the optimal build. We'll work on that later. I do have them over there if we have problems, though. All right, and let's just keep taking because I got a lot of these. Yeah, the... Uh, the little wagon is very good for buying pipes. Very, very good. I think that should do... Let me get the T. All right, let's put that T in. Okay, nope, nope. I did rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. All right, so the way it's going to work is... So that way, when another harvester is here, I can just put another T here. And it gives me room to put in a pressure tank if I need to boost it, which I'm going to do. I mean, look, this is going to be powering the harvesters and the conveyor that's going to take it all the way through the... Um, oh, and also the, the uh, compressor, too. So, yeah, we definitely need as much power as possible going in there, right? All right, I'm thinking that, that, and then we get an elbow. Let's get an elbow. I think my elbows are over here. All right, there we go. We're not seeing any sparks, are we? I don't see any sparks. We're just going to let that run and come up with some really big ingots. Then maybe we'll see what it's going to get us. All right. So now, now what we're going to do, I need more elbows. I need more elbows. I put them in an unfortunate location here. All right. Now what we're going to do is, is it rotate, rotate. There we go. And I need a straight all right, boom, there we go. All right, and put that there, and then another elbow, and then we can start planting in the... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need rails for this. I probably won't. 
Okay, hold on a minute. There we go. I think I can put this back in because it basically it's cosmetic. Okay, it basically it's cosmetic. Right, so it looks better. It looks weird, but at least this thing isn't floating in midair, you know? All right, so let's start going with these guys. All right, so we just gonna, oh, wrong way. Rotate, rotate, rotate that way, away. So it's gonna drop onto there and take it over this way. I even have a couple of turning ones with me. I don't know if I have enough conveyors to put one in though. I have to I have to clear this area over here. All right, and put that in there like that. I guess maybe we can do that, but well, I have two more here like that. Then I can make the turn. All right, I can always take it out later. I'm just not sure which one of these is that I wanted anyway. Does that feel like the right one? Uh, rotate, rotate. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. All right. Uh, drop it. There you go. That's the one right there. And just to make sure it's making the turn properly, we can do this. It might be pushing out a little bit further. We'll see in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Right. All right. So give me another cork. Uh, boom. There we go. All right. So I don't want any water leaking around. If I hear water leaking around, I know I have a problem, right? Okay. So... Water comes in, comes off this way. I probably want to be proactive about this and put a water, put a tank in because it's going to have to go in, right? I mean, there's no question. At least one. I might decide to stick one in along the way, but I mean, we need to put one in here. All right, hold on a second. Rotate. Is that going to be good? That looks like it's good, even though it's partially underground, but I think that's just the look. All right, and close it up. Okay, that looks like it's doing good. By the way, it will act... Oh, hold on, I forgot all about this. Yep, yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. All right, let's shut it down. Let's shut it down, because that's been running for a long time. Hold on a second. That, that, that. Okay, that... That, that, and that. You know, I need to look at that harvester too because that was the next point of failure. 26%. Uh, this thing is about to start sparking. All right, so proactively, I'm going to do this. Repair. There we go. Uh, that should be fine now. All right. Uh, before I turn the water off, let's do a little bit of compacting. There we go. All right, now I can go turn it off, and then we'll see what we got out of this. Because uh, they were running for quite some time. It was more than 10 minutes, probably like 12, 13 minutes, something like that. Okay, it kind of looked like the uh, ruby was clipping through there for a moment. Oh, wow, that's going to be a big one, isn't it? All right, that one I'm going to cut up into pieces. All right, let's check out the gold. All right, any guesses? Any guesses? Log your guesses. 742. Wow, okay, that's... Can you imagine what that one's going to be? Because a lot more iron comes out. See, I thought this one was big because this one was... Oh, wow, 345. I should just throw it back in because the definition of a run has just changed. All right, let's see. And this one weighs... a thousand. All right, that's going to make a heck of an axe right there. All right, we got a necklace and an axe. Yeah, that's going to be... Uh, I don't know, do I want to just make two rings with these? Because, you know, I would have to actually take some of the compressed gems. Oh, that reminds me. I have a feeling I'm going to be taking the axe to this one a lot. A hundred. 
Yeah, the axe is going to be cutting that one up a lot. All right. See, the thing is... Where is it? Look how small they are now. And this one doesn't have one anymore. Because it, it eats them up over time. So you really do need to have a constant flow of them. And they have to be a decent size. It's just that that one, I'm going to be cutting that one up a lot. Probably into eight pieces. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, this is going to be fun. Placement is everything, isn't it? Because look at that. Oh, that, you know, maybe I should put a block under there. The problem is, would I ever get it? You know what? The problem is it would put it underground because of the way this is clipping in there. Okay, let's, let's run through this. All right, so we turned on the water, right? And the water breaks into two locations. One, it's trying to come this way. So we open that up, and then all of a sudden, the Goliaths all come to life at once. It's going to take them a while to start producing, right? Water also comes over to here and activates all of this. So we can actually see that as soon as we turn the water on, right? All right, now we have this break coming over this way, down here, and then it gets a boost. Probably could use another boost in there, by the way. And this will power the harvester and will also power this conveyor right here. So if we turn it on, the conveyors should just work right away. All right, it'll take a moment for the water to reach here. Okay, is there an issue? Sometimes these things can be a little bit buggy. But maybe it's not that fault. What is going on here? Um, hold that a minute. Okay, so there's no water coming this way. Why is there no water coming this way? Uh, because there's a uh, plug here. How did... I took that plug out, didn't I? Okay. Whatever. It's gone now, right? There you go. It's a good thing I looked there. That would have been really embarrassing. Kind of is already. All right, this is going to make a mess, but I do have something. All right, so let's just turn them on. But uh, I'm thinking it's getting kind of late. All right, you know, we can just do this right now. All right. All right. Hold it. Up. Up. All right. I want little chunks. Little chunks. That's what I want. Little tiny baby chunks. Now, in the previous episode, my Goliaths weren't functioning very well because I forgot to put the uh, the shard things in. All right. How are we doing? Okay, not all tiny, but that should be okay. Okay, we have a whole line of stuff coming. Okay, that's... Making a big mess. You know, but it doesn't come out very often, does it? I mean, look, we have a big pile here, which unfortunately is going to be a big old problem here now. Hold on. No, it's just not going to work now, is it? I mean, a lot comes out when it does that. A whole lot comes out. It is still getting them from the surface, though. Okay, so we're just going to move this thing out of the way. All right, so I'm creating a mess, but like I said, I do have a uh, possible solution. Some of the big ones are... Yeah, we're still having some problems. I have a feeling what's happening... Whoa! <laughs> I have a feeling what's happening is that they're clumping up again together. And they seem to be coming out in two waves. The three in the back seem to be producing at one time. And these guys over here are doing their own thing. Watch. I don't know if it's a matter of how deep it is and the fact that... Look, they all produced. They turn off. 
than than they produce. Okay, let's turn that off because our mess is growing exponentially. Oh, I didn't shoot. <laughs> well, I mean, that turns it off, right? Yeah, I should hammer things into place. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Okay, is everything through? I'm guessing everything is through. I mean, it's probably a lot more than a comparable number of the RAM drills. It's hard because if you look at the RAM drills, they really do just kind of like trickle through. Even if, even with what we have, they kind of trickle through. All right, first things first. Most importantly, let's go to sleep because, yeah, I really wish they had an option for not having a day-night cycle because it doesn't really make much of a sense I mean, we can just bypass it, but it is a little on the annoying side. I just want it to be light all the time. It's not really contributing anything, right? All right. Um, did I grab everything? Yes, I did. All right. So I just want to I just want to do a quick comparison here. All right. I'm going to turn seven of these guys on. Seven. Right? We have seven of these. And we're going to let them go. Right? We're just going to let them go. Now, obviously, these guys are fairly continual, right? But if we look right here... It does seem as if what comes out of the Goliaths is a big, huge batch. So there's probably a lot in there. There's certainly a lot for me to pick up. And again, that's, all, that's only five of them at the moment. I mean, until we actually have the sorters and the smelters and the compressor down, it's really hard to tell if it's actually a lot better. I'm going with the assumption that it is, especially when I put five more of them down. But I think what we'll do is we'll build the sorting and smelting situation using just what we have at the moment so maybe we can turn both of them on at the same time and see what they produce right because i mean the thing is if you look at it even when it gets like that which was a really thick bunch it wasn't as much but i mean this is a constant flow though okay. and you know what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it on but i, I want to see if there's going to be any trouble things here I need to get more of those. All right, that one is 89, 62. Okay, that one right there is going to be a problem. So I'm going to do that. All right, how is, how is this ram drill? This is the oldest ram drill that I had. This was the original one because I moved it. Um, so that one is 58. So they're not as big a problem as the harvester, but then again, the harvester is taking everything from all seven of these. So I turned it on to just let them go, right? Right, let's turn this guy back on again and then let's observe. All right, and we'll turn this on. By the way, like I said, I might have a solution for that. I'm not gonna separate it. No way, no way. But I may just sell the whole thing, you know? All right. See, now that is a lot. And a lot of those are like inside of each other. So it's actually more than you see. It's going to be hard to tell until we can actually have a quantified comparison, you know? All right, turn that off. And then turn this off. By the way, I did buy another one of these. How are these doing? Uh. 88, 80, 73, 65. Okay, well, that one's, it is what it is, right? By the way, I bought a toy. I've never used this before, so let's use it now. This is the big one, by the way. All right. Let's see. Okay, do I click? There you go. Okay, I got to click and hold it. All right, up, up, up. Up and 
Okay, clearly it's not all going to fit into one, right? Here, wait a second. All right, come on, over and... Right, it's, it's, I might be able to get some more in there. Might be able to get some more in there. Right, up we go, up, up, and down. Actually, that worked out pretty well. Did I get them all? Okay, but the thing is, even if I take it over there and I sell it, it's not going to sell certain parts of it. But, you know, the thing is, maybe that's okay. Because the parts that are left, I can probably do something with, right? It's just the gold and the iron that's going to be a bit of an issue. All right, so you know what? Let's just throw that in the trunk. All right, the next part of this is going to be where this is going, of course. I need to build the entire smelting and compressing system that I have over here. So I'll gather the parts for that. I may push this a little bit further over. We'll have to see about that. It really depends. I'm going to have to see about that. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be like... Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of space for it. I don't. I want to go this way because uh, I want to keep this whole thing in this little section here in case I decide to do something big or something like that. Who knows? Maybe I build a home for myself, right? All right. So let's just um, take this back over here for a moment because I want to sell some uh, jewelry and an axe, don't I? I left that running, didn't I? Hold on a minute. Just more money. You know what I want to do is I want to spread money between the two places. All right, let's turn this off. This probably produced a runt, by the way. That's probably what it just did. Um, I'm, it hasn't been on long enough to really make something terrific. So we're just going to turn them off. But money is just an important thing. Are we done? All right, and we're going to do this before I turn the water off. There we go. All right, turn this off before any more damage. I got to buy a bunch of those. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that these probably aren't terrific. Let's just take a look at this one here and see what we got. Yeah, it's only 200. So maybe I should just throw it back in, you know. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. All right, let's... Uh, do I want to do gems? I'm thinking, why don't I just, you know, make the rings or something like that? Hold on a second. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I just want money, right? Oh, I didn't I didn't cook them. Here, we'll cook them there. Cook that there. And we'll cook that one there. And we'll cook this one over here. I'm going to make the, um, the axe. All right, get me this. Oh, and this one might actually be something that I can stick into something without going too crazy, right? Yeah, well, 24, I can still cut that one in half. Uh, because I do have to replace the ones over here because uh, they were shrinking rather quickly. All right, so let's make rings. I feel like Sauron. All right, and you can go in the back. And where is the other one? And you can go here. There we go. Because I want to save up the gems to make something big. Right? So there we go. All right. And now we have the... Oh, let me get the... Um, don't put that on the ground. Don't put that on the ground. I need to change it back to the, the axe. All right. And down. And let's grab that one. And down. And boom. There we go. Where'd it go? It was so powerful, it became sentient and ran. Yeah, that's a good question. Where did it go? I mean, did it run away? 
Oh, okay, you, you didn't get very far, did you? The intelligence ran out before he got too far away. All right. All right, let's get out of here and make some money. See, I have a big pile of money in the general store, but the conveyor store, not really. And I'm really going to need a lot, of, a lot of stuff in there, including the sorters and lots more conveyors and grinders and stuff like that. All right, so we'll just sell this stuff and that will be that. Okay, no, no, no. Well, I suppose I should be happy I crashed into that, right? Because the alternative would have been uh, dunking. All right. Yeah, maybe I should try out one of the other vehicles. It's not like I don't have the money for it, right? All right, and out. All right. I have a feeling the big one... Oh, first things first. How much of this can I sell? Okay. All right. How much is left in here? It should be shards... Oh, it sold the gems, too. Okay, I'll just pour that into the uh, the smelter for the gems. All right. All right, so let's do rings. I don't remember which one was which, so let's just see. Wow, that one's only 8,000 by itself. No gem required. All right, what about you? Okay, there's the big one. Just by itself, 17,000. Wow, all right. Well, yeah, I want that. And here is a very interesting question. Okay. You, he's trying to get away. Really, he is. He's trying to get away. Uh, you're not getting away. You have been sold. Okay, so I got 50 here. All right. So this is where I have the big one right now. That's the 62. I want to have money in both locations. See, at the moment, there's only 2,000. Well, now there's more than 2,000. There's 52,000. That way I can just do purchasing and I don't have to worry about moving the money around. Anyway, well, that was certainly profitable. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is you do have to watch the things will start uh, sparkling because they're breaking. But uh, yeah, more money. An extra 50. So the thing about it is we do want to keep that previous one intact. So I'm not going to take any pieces out of that. I'm just going to buy whatever I need for the new one. Of course, that includes a lot of blocks, which is really annoying. Really, really annoying. Anyway, I better get into that purchasing. Probably do the blocks first. Because like I said, that is the annoying part. Grabbing sorters and, and smelters and everything like that isn't really annoying. But when you can only buy uh, four of the boxes at a time, that gets a little bit, uh, yeah, that gets annoying. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So we got a whole bunch of Goliaths feeding a harvester now. And it basically gave us a whole bunch of stuff. Fortunately, I did pick up the magnet staff and that did a really good job of cleaning things up for us there, didn't it? Well, the next part is the processing. So I'm going to buy hopefully all the parts that we need. We can set that up in the next episode. And then maybe we can do a little bit of a comparison between the two systems. And then, of course, we can add the second half of the Goliaths and really crank it up. Maybe it'll just break the whole system at that point. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.